My name's Eli. I'm one of the research and development engineers here at Delta Hawk and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what a normal day for me is like. So one of the roles of the research and development team is um, new part design, implementation, and testing. Um, and all of our new part design starts in SolidWorks with these 3D models. So the model you see here is a project I'm working on right now. It's our new idle governor, which serves as the interface for the pilot to the engine and also helps us control our idle set point. Um, everything in SolidWorks starts with a 3D model. What you're seeing here is an assembly of the new idle governor I'm working on. Um, we take this 3D model and the engineering team will typically work on the overall dimensions, critical fit, form, and function, and then we'll work with our CAD designers to get through detailed, uh, detailed modeling and go to the prints which are used for manufacturing. The research and development engineering team were responsible um, bas basically on a system level um, for development, testing, and implementation of our specific systems. So me specifically, I work on the fuel and oil systems that um, are all over the engine. It's basically the, the oxygen and the, the blood, if it were a human body. I don't think I like that analogy. But <laughs> in addition to designing new parts, we're also responsible for overseeing testing and analysis of the new parts that we design. So basically, we have all of the data that's provided from our test cells outside. We Take, bring in here and analyze and uh, ensure that everything is performing the way it's supposed to be and assess, um, assess any problems that might need to happen. So a lot of time is spent looking at different graphs and performance markers to establish uh, how well the engine's doing, um, how well different test articles are performing, as well as assessing overall reliability and uh, performance. So in addition to the physical design of the part and the shape of things and how they mount up and the structure, uh, we're also responsible for the performance. And, Designing for performance is an important thing whenever you're starting any new design. Fortunately, we have several simulation and analytical tools that we can use to uh, predict performance and determine which factors of a design are going to affect performance. What you see here is uh, Mat MATLAB Simulink, and it's a model of our fuel system, our entire fuel system, actually. This model is really helpful in knowing how um, different things might affect the fuel system if we want to change the design of one part or if something happens and there's a loss of pressure somewhere, we can predict what would happen and how it's gonna affect the fuel system. So these analytical tools help us run tests and see data that would be extremely hard to see in the real world. In addition to part design, um, we also have to help with testing and especially initial assembly of new designs. So here we actually have a disassembled oil pump that just recently came off test. Whenever we have new designs or things that might be difficult, um, engineering oftentimes helps the technicians with the first assembly. Um, and the technicians in turn help us develop the print to make the assembly easier. Um, so it's kind of a nice iterative feedback loop. We all work together to help improve the design, make it easy for people in the field putting these together, making sure it's easy to maintain. So this pump will actually be getting reassembled and going back on test today. As I talked about before, uh, the engineering team also works closely with our test technicians whenever we have test articles running, um, just to oversee the test, answer any questions they have about parameters that might be um, interesting or anomalous as the engine's running. Um, and we'll also help, help them set up tests if they're difficult or anything like that. Specific to the fuel system, this is our rate of injection test bench. We use this area to calibrate all of our fuel pumps as well as run R&D work on the fuel system. So it's one of our most um, complicated and most high-tech test systems and I'm fortunate that I get to work very closely with it as the fuel system engineer. So there's uh, a lot of fun equipment in here. Uh, we can. We can see exactly what's going on inside the fuel system to help diagnose issues, um, and it's also used to calibrate the fuel pumps whenever we build a new one that needs to go on the engine. 